Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video, and if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button, as well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five hidden features inside of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, but I do want to give you a heads up that if you do like the content of this video, make sure you guys stick around for later on this week when I do post up a part two of this series of the top hidden features of the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. So kicking this off, we're going to first talk about what happens when you get a notification on the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Originally, if you have your edge lighting turned off, it's going to be something that is just extremely ugly. It's a huge banner. It goes all the way across the whole entire screen and it just does not look fun at all. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you have your edge lighting turned on. Now the reason why I want to show you this is because when you have edge lighting that is selected and you went through all your different settings and you have it turned it on, edge lighting is just a way to notify you of a notification. So you'd be able to have that light that goes all the way around the phone, but you're also able to get a different type of a pop-up, something that's less intrusive, but you're able to do something different that not many people tell you about. Now once you get this little notification comes through and you see those little words on the very top that small banner when you click on it and basically slide down so once you swipe it down on that little banner you're going to pop up this little pop-up window here so what you're able to do with this one is you'd be able to minimize it you'd also be able to hit that middle button and make it expanded or you'd be able to get out of it totally now let's just say that you wanted to see exactly what happens when you get another notification and exactly what happened but what also happens when you respond and hit the home button so what i'm going to do is i'm going to swipe it down now i'm going to go right back over in there i'm going to say hi i'm going to to send it right on back and I hit my home button. So what's going to happen is now it is completely minimized as if it's a small little pop up window. And when you're completely done with this, then you're able to just hit on the little X and then you're completely done. Feature number two is dealing with the home screen. So what you're able to do is once you press anywhere on the home screen that is empty, just press and hold on there. You're going to go down here where it says the home screen settings and you want to see this little option right here. So this portrait mode only, once you turn this thing off, what's going to happen is now you're able to use your home screen in the landscape so you'd either have it portrait or horizontal, it doesn't matter. Let's just say that you head over into YouTube and you're playing with YouTube, you're watching all the different videos, and then once you get on out, you wanna go over into a different application, now you will be able to, without having to always rotate your phone, you know, putting it portrait and then horizontal, portrait, horizontal, and everything else. So again, all you wanna do is go inside your settings because by default, this one is turned on where it is locked in portrait. Just make sure you turn this thing off, and then at any point in time when your phone is sideways, you're able to use it that way as well, very similar to a tablet. Now, because feature number two is one of those that's just a little bit more commonly known, I'm going to throw an additional one inside of there. So you're actually going to see six hidden features instead of five. And this one I'm going to throw in there because it's referred to as the easy screen turn on. And all you have to do is just wave your hand over that proximity sensor on the very top of the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, and it's able to turn this on. So let me show you how you'd be able to activate this. So to turn this on, you want to pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon. You're going to scroll down to where it says accessibility. Underneath accessibility, it's going to be the third one down, which is dexterity and interaction because you're pretty much interacting with your phone. And it's going to be this one right here that's referred to as easy screen turn on. Once you have this thing turned on, any point in time that you want to activate your little lock screen to see what's going on, just give it a little wave above that proximity sensor. Now you're able to see what is going on, maybe who a text message is from. Now, when this comes comes into play is maybe your hands are dirty, you're doing the dishes, maybe you're cooking, maybe you've touched uh, chicken, maybe you're working on a vehicle, you have grease or oil everywhere, and you don't want to touch your home button or power button, just give a small little wave and then now it's able to open up that lock screen for you. So the next hidden feature is by playing with the gallery. So I know a few people when they go through their phone and they want to delete images or move images, they would press and hold on the original image and then they would go through and you know individually select all these images but just by tapping on the screen. But all you would really have to do if you wanted to either move or delete these things in bulk is by again pressing and holding on the very first image but now just kind of give a small little swipe so now all i'm doing is just swiping all these images and then now i'm able to delete them extremely fast. I do want to mention that if you try to go down or go up, it's not going to happen because it's just thinking that you're scrolling the screen. All you'd have to do is just go through there, just kind of give a little wipe through all those different images you want to delete, and then you are good to go. So these ones are ones I do want to delete, 
hit delete, boom, now we are good to go. Hidden feature number four is definitely gonna come into play if you get yourself a screen protector and it's not that sensitive. So let's kind of go through and here is a screen protector here. Um, I'm not even going to go down and try to get this thing adhered onto the device. I'm just gonna kind of have it sitting here and what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna hold this little tape on the very top but I'm gonna try to interact with the phone. So right now I'm pressing just a little bit harder to try to get it to activate with me um, but you can see that it's not really activating or working. So now what I do really need to do who is move the screen protector. I'm gonna go over into settings and then underneath settings, what you wanna do is go down to your advanced features. Underneath advanced features, go to the very last one that is called touch sensitivity. And once you have your touch sensitivity that is turned on, now I'm gonna hit on my little home button here. And then now, just without trying to push really hard, I'm able to go through and you can see that it's interacting just a lot easier. So I'm able to go left and right, back and forth, go through everything, go up and down, and now it's able to work. And the great thing about this one is that it's not even adhered to my phone at all. So it's definitely not even, you know, to the phone that would give it its sensitivity. It's not being adhered down. And so even when I was kind of moving this around right here, you can see that it's still interacting. Now, if I was to go right on back and go through here, let's go over into that advanced features. Let's turn off the touch sensitivity. One more time, if I was to kind of go through it, you can see that it's not really interacting at all. And I'm actually giving it the exact same pressure as before. Now finishing off part one of the top five hidden features of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, it's gonna be dealing with this little edge panel handle. Now what you are able to do on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus that you were not able to do with the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, or Note 8 was move this around and you can either put it on the left or right hand side. Now on the other phones, what you had to do for the year of 2017, you would have to basically open up your edge panel, click on these settings, head to the very top right hand side, click on the edge panel handle. This is where you can either make it smaller or larger, the transparency, you can have vibration if it's you know being operated and used. And then this is also where you'd be able to change it on the left or right, or you'd be able to bring it up and down. So it just makes it super easy if you wanted to kind of just move this thing really fast for maybe a gameplay, um, or maybe somebody else is using your phone and they are left-handed, you'd be able to move it either on the left or right hand side. You'd be able to move it if you want to on the top or bottom. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. And also remember later on this week, I will have part two of this series. If you guys like the content of this video, make sure you guys stick around for later on this week. Outside of that, make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also hit on subscribe if you have not subscribed already. You'll be able to do that by below the video or hitting on this little red circle right over here. Share this video with your friends and family and all your social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.